Giga Texas is 58% complete. Yes, really, with the math to prove it. You guys know I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. With a massive structure in the northwest corner where the battery factory will be fully framed up, the pace is remaining plenty bonkers. And while work continues around the site, the main Emerald building is really and truly 58% done by time, if not by dollars or anything else, but by time, with thousands of workers present six days a week and a few hundred even on Sundays. Next week, I'll start tracking the progress of the two additional buildings we see going in, both to the west side of the toll road and on the far east part of the site where Project Bobcat is underway. These may prove more difficult to track and will require different math, but I'll try to get it sorted out this week. I'm using Randy's footage from Terra Factory, Texas. If Terra Factory, Texas isn't already part of your balanced Tesla breakfast, this has got the fiber you need. Link in the description. So let's take a look at the weekly progress graph and see how things are shaping up. You can see the footings have increased slightly. The steel framing has maintained a strong pace, which is likely to continue, though perhaps not quite as quickly, as work progresses in the southwest prairie. The pace of roof covering continues well, and as a reminder, the roof sections only count as half done until 17 weeks after the interior space beneath them is closed off to the elements. And the interior space, again, only fully counted after 17 weeks. That's likewise climbing nicely, and it will continue to accelerate until at least June 21st, when the earliest sections are finally fully counted. So let's take a look at the sitemap's progress as of today, and then roll it back to December 14th and see how it's changed week by week. And if you like this content, consider subscribing. Every new subscriber in the month of May will equal one tree planted, and it costs you nothing. Here's the site as it appears today, and let's roll it back to December 14th. The orange is the footings, the gray is the frames, the dim gray is the roofs, which we only count half of until the interior work catches up, and the blue indicates interior areas walled off sufficiently to count towards completion. Once an area is counted toward interior completion, it begins a 17-week march towards being fully counted, with a fraction of it each week until it's done. The darker the blue, the more floors there are, and the black lines indicate fire breaks within the structure, with the heavier black lines indicating a concrete area. So where are we at in terms of the timeline? Well, here it is and here you go. As of May 10th, the site is 58% done and will be completed, for lack of a better word, on or about December 5th of 2021. This doesn't include any of the other buildings around the site, though I'll start tracking those in the next week or two, and it also doesn't mean production can't start before then. The site is mostly two floors in height, and as of May 10th, there are 6.3 million square feet of framed area, or 590,000 square meters. Last week, I was again asked to show how the estimated completion date has changed over the course of the history of this tracker, so let's take a quick look at that. When the tracker first launched, the predicted completion date, based on extremely limited data, was December 16th of 2021, which slowly slipped out as far as January 8th, largely due to weather problems, before bouncing back all the way to late September. Now. It never actually was late September. This was mostly due to an error in the math, which double counted the roof areas. And uh, a viewer helpfully pointed that out and it was corrected in February. So since March 1st of this year, the estimated date of completion has ranged from as early as November 15th to as late as December 5th. That's a really tight window and hopefully it proves at least somewhat accurate. There have also been comments suggesting that I'm undercounting the interior completion or overcounting it. So many areas are well underway weeks or even months before the walls go up, like the body and white robot area on the first floor, which might make it seem like an undercount. 
but other areas are already being counted, even though we've seen little work taking place apart from slapping on the walls. In Shanghai, these two factors balanced each other out, so we'll see what happens. Do you guys think Austin can finish their interior within four months of the walls going up, like they did in Shanghai? Or will it be longer than that, like in Berlin? Thank you to everyone who leaves a comment, and especially those who support the channel on Patreon, who enjoy a bonus content, a early access, and an ad-free experience. I can't do it without you guys. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me a tasty platter of ear d'oeuvres in the comments, and stay tuned. I stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.